टुडे आई डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू मेनिया ट्रांसफॉर्मेशंस वी आल्सो ऑब्वियसली डिस्कस नाल स्पेस ऑफ टी एंड ब्रेन ऑफ टी टुडे वी स्टार्ट अबाउट वन एग्जांपल रिलेटेड टू दैट ओके एग्जांपल वी आल्सो डिस्कस दैट वन इम्पॉर्टेंट लेनिया ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन डिफाइन ए लेनिया ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ओके E to R to M to cross to R. Okay, by T of f x equal to what? Here f one becomes f two. Zero, zero, and zero. Okay, This means. बीटा इक्वल टू वन एक्स एक्स वे इज ए बेसिस फॉर इज ए बेसिस फॉर पी टू आर देन वॉट हैपन वी हैव ओके वी हैव आर टी इक्वल टू स्पेन ऑफ स्पेन ऑफ इंडिया Equal to span of okay p one p a p x square <coughs> then what happen we write it now equal to okay span of here t one t one represent here t one equal to That means f x equal to one. That means f one f two zero. Okay, zero zero. Understood? And in this way here t x t x equal to what? F x equal to x. That means f one one two. That means minus one zero zero zero. Understood? And here t x one f one equal to f x x square. That means f one equal to one and f two equal to four minus three zero zero zero. Okay. Then what happened? This one is the span of this. Then we write it in this way. We sort this one equal to span of okay zero 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 and minus one zero zero zero. Okay. Then what happened? Thus we find a basis for R T and dimension of the R T equal to two. We have to write dimension of R T equal to two. Okay, so hence this one, this one, we we found a basis for R T. Okay, and this R dimension of R T equal to this one. Okay, two. So we now going to this the dimensionality of T and rank of T. We going to definition of that. So here is that portion. I am going to further discussion of that. We write this definition. Okay. Then what happened? We write it here. Let B and W. Okay. B vector spaces. B vector spaces. Okay. And let and let P P to W. Okay. B linear. B linear. And if n t and r t, if n t and r t, okay, are finite dimensional, are finite dimensional, then 
then we define then we define okay then we define the nullity of the nullity of the and and this and obviously this one be the dimension of nullity on t to be the dimension of dimension of okay and 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 to define the to define the range rank of t equal to rank of t equal to what denoted by rank t okay denoted by rank t to be the dimension of the dimension of nt and rt nt and rt respectively okay then what happens that means p and w be vector spaces let t v to w be linear and nt and rt are finite dimensional then we define the nullity of t to be the dimension of nt and we define the rank of t denoted by rank t to be the dimension of nt as rt okay sorry dimension sorry dimension of rt okay the dimension of rt respectively that means rank t dimension of rt and nullity of t dimension of nt okay then we are also going to discussion of one important theorem this one is that means um, crucial theorem and linear algebra and obviously related to this linear transforms this one is very important theorem today we discuss this important theorem all are known about that we we'll start from this dimension theorem okay so we we'll write its statement of this theorem first. Okay. Then we're going to prove of that. Statement is too easy. We we'll write it in this way. Let P and W. Okay. Be vector spaces. Be vector spaces. And let and let P P to W B linear B linear okay if P is finite dimensional if P is finite dimensional then nullity of P then nullity of P uh, class rank of t class rank of t okay equal to dimension of t okay now we are also going to proof of that we write here to suppose that Suppose that dimension of P equal to P. Okay. And dimension of NT equal to K. Okay. And P1, P2, PK is a basis for NT. Okay. Then what happened? Then now we may extend. 
we may we stay d1 d2 dot 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 d a okay to a basis to a basis here beta equal to d1 d2 dot 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 d a for q okay dimension of v equal to n and dimension of n t equal to k then v1 v2 vk is a basis for n t okay we may extend v1 v2 vk to a basis beta v1 v2 vn for v okay now we claim that we claim that but is equal to T B K plus one dot 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 T B A. Okay, is a basis for R. Is a basis for R. Understood. Then what we can discuss. Dimension of n t equal to k, dimension of v equal to n, then v1 v2 v k is a basis for n t, and we may extend this one to this beta. Okay, then what happened? Then we claim that this remaining part, and obviously this one is that means t of this one is a basis for r t. So we that means erase that portion and going to further discussion of that. Okay, first we prove that beta generates R. First we prove that beta generates okay sorry is yes, generates that this beta not beta is yes, generates that okay then what happened then uh, we also known about that p of p i equal to zero for one less than equal to i less than equal to t since d i belongs to n t okay one less than equal to i less than equal to t then what happened then we have we have r t equal to span of okay span of t p one t p two dot 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 t b k okay sorry t b n r t equal to span of this one okay then we write it span of r t b k plus one dot 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 t b five because other one are zero okay so what happened? This one equal to span of this. Understood? Too easily we write it now. Then we're also going to further discussion of that. Okay. Also going to further discussion of that. And this one is we have to prove that this is we have to prove that. S is linearly independent. Okay. S is linearly independent. Then what happened? We write it now. Suppose that here I equal to A plus 1 to A B I T of B I equal to zero for b a plus one dot 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 b a belongs to k 
Okay. Using the fact that using the fact that okay. T is linear. We have what in this way we write it T of okay. T of i equal to a plus one to a b i t i equal to zero. This implies that what i equal to a plus one to a b i t i belongs to n. Okay. Hence, there exists for is our portion. I'm going to further discuss about that. Hence, there exists okay c1 c2 c1 c2 dot 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 c k belongs to a such that summation i equal to k plus 1 to a b i b i equal to here summation i equal to 1 to k c i p l okay then that means we also discuss in this way since then this one belongs to n t then what happened then obviously that means n t have some basis v1 v2 v3 so we represent this way okay so what this implies what this implies i equal to 1 j c i v i plus minus 1 into i equal to k plus 1 to a v i v i equal to 0 okay since beta since beta is a basis for b, since beta is a basis for b, we have we have beta i equal to zero for all i. Okay. Hence, hence what happened? And s is linearly independent. Hence, s is linearly independent understood now we also that means notice that what then s is linearly independent implies what Since S is linearly independent, okay, then we also see that the we have this one T K plus T G K plus one, okay, T G K plus one, T G K plus two dot 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 t p a okay are distinct are distinct and therefore therefore rank of t equal to n minus Okay, understood. Then we also prove this important theorem. 
okay we are now going to discussion of another example related to that okay that means too easily we discuss for example we also discuss in our like early or earlier class or in early topics okay we have this one p of a1 a2 a3 equal to a1 difference a2 and here to a3 okay then what happen then np equal to here a a0 where a belongs to r that means dimension of np equal to 1 and rt equal to what rt equal to here r square okay the dimension of rt or rank of t equal to what two. understood so in this way we also see that 2 plus 1 equal to 3 okay 2 plus that means this one 2 plus 1 equal to 3 3 is the r cube dimension okay so in this way we also verified that theorem now we are also going to another theorem related to that topic so we erase that portion and going to start the discussion of that Now we write it in this way. Okay. Theorem. Let B and W be vector spaces. Okay. And let P V to W and let P V to W B linear. Okay. Then what happened? Then T is one to one if and only if if and only if N T equal to zero. Okay. Now we are going to prove of that. Suppose that T is one to one. And X belongs to N T. Okay. Then what happened? Then T X equal to zero equal to T zero. Okay. Then since t is one one, since t is one one, then hence n t equal to zero. Since t is one one, that that means that n t equal to zero. Now, now we assume. Now assume that n t equal to zero. Okay. Then what happens? We have to prove that P is one. And suppose that and suppose that Px equal to T1. Okay. Then what happened? Then 0 equal to Px difference T1. Okay. Equal to P of X difference Y. Hence, therefore, therefore, what happened? 
x difference y belongs to n t equal to this zero. Okay. So x difference y equal to zero implies that x equal to one. This means that this means that t is one t is one two okay understood not a problem at all that means we also discuss too easily this one if t x equal to t y implies that x equal to y then t is one two one Understood? I think not a problem at all. Okay. Here x belongs to n t implies t x equal to zero uh, equal to t zero and this implies n t equal to zero. That means t is one one. That means x equal to zero. Then t is n t equal to zero. Okay. T is one one. So x equal to zero. Then n t equal to zero. So in this way we also prove that now we erase that portion and going to further discussion of another theorem related to that topics. Okay. So we now going to further discuss on that. Um, we erase that portion, but today we also that means not interested to discuss on another theorem. We will also see example of this related theorem. Okay. We will also see first see example of related to this theorem. Okay. This example is in this way t x square to x square de defined by defined by t of a1 a2 equal to a1 plus a2 here a1 okay then for nt equal to what nt equal to 0 why this means t of a1 a2 equal to a1 plus a2 a1 equal to 0 0 this implies a1 equal to 0 and a2 equal to 0 okay N T equal to zero. Understood? Then what happens? So T is one one. In this way, we also define this one. N T becomes zero zero. So this one implies that T is one. Okay. So now today we we'll stop here, and um, that means. If you get this type of video, please subscribe my channel and if you give, want to give like, please click on like options. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, write it in the comment box. So um, that means I think I understand this types of videos. Please write it in the comment box and subscribe my channel. Okay. So today I stop here. Thank you.